Good morning, my friends. This is Miss Isabel. Today we're going to read Good Night Owl by Greg Pisali. Here we go. Owl was selling into bed when he heard a noise. Skeek! It was a tiny sound, no louder than the whisper, a funny noise he hadn't heard before. Someone must be at the door, said Owl. Just a minute. But no one was there. Probably the wind, said Owl. And he laid down in bed and said to himself, Good night, Owl. Skeek! Then he heard the noise again. Uh-oh. It's coming from the cupboard, said Owl. So he went to take a look. He emptied every shelf, but there was no noise to be found. Oh no, look at the mess that he made. So Owl went back to bed. Good night, Owl, he said. And then he heard the noise again. Skeek! It must be under the floor, said Owl. And he pulled up the floorboards one by one. Oh no, his house is going to look so messy. But he didn't find the noise. So I went back to bed. Skeek! This house has a noisy roof, yelled Owl. Oh no, he is very, very angry. And he took down the roof. There, said Owl. No more noise. Owl got back into bed. The stars and the moon shining down where his roof used to be. Oh no, look, he has no roof. Good night, Owl, he said. But Owl didn't close his eyes. He didn't dare. He knew that any second he would hear the noise. <gasps> Uh-oh. He waited and waited and waited, and waited. <gasps> Skeek! It's in the walls, Owl screeched. I'll get you noise, said Owl, as he tore down the walls of his house. Oh, no. But he found nothing. The cupboard was empty, the floorboards were pulled up, the roof was pulled down, and the walls were gone. Owl went back to bed and he said, Good night, Owl. And then, and then he saw the noise. Skeek! Owl smiled. He said, Good night, noise. And they went to sleep. The end. Bye bye, my friends. See you next time.